Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Sarah Plays Don't Starve. I'm Sarah and I'm playing Don't Starve. We got a very simple mission today. We're going in the caves, but first... <clears throat> I'm going to put these in here. They're going to spoil, so you know what? Trying to make as many of these as we can. Is that a waste? Nah. I mean, it gives you more health. Either way. It's a waste in terms of hunger, I guess. Whoops. Go in there, please. And really, I don't, I don't care at all. I just need to get rid of them. That's the main goal. I should leave a couple of these things here. And leave these here as well. <clears throat> Another reason why I'm keeping the cactus flesh as much as possible is you can get sanity out of them if you cook them up. couple more. In fact, one more. And then I can get on with my day. Probably leave some of these logs here. Still couldn't, I wasn't able to farm for the, uh, for the, what was it? Oh, the living logs, but do what you can. So I'm going to bring that in here, into the caves. Another reason I want to go into the caves is to make sure that I can secure some form of uh, niter, because I only have six, and that's not enough for what I'm... I mean, it's summer. It just started eight days ago. So we got to be careful about that. And it's night. I'm going to use my um, torch. Just because I only have 8% left on that lantern. Got to refuel that as soon as possible. I believe that the cave is just right up here. Yep. Got some withering over here. Where is it? Oh, I passed it. Go in there. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't hurt to do, like, I think I'm going to spend this episode exploring the caves. I need to find the ruins as well. Which, the ruins are like, they always inside of the caves. So, I don't believe I have any meat in my inventory. I don't think this counts as meat. It's a, it's a salad after all. So we should be fine around these bunnies. Not that I couldn't fight them at this point anyways. I have armor. Yeah, they would have definitely attacked me at that point. So, yeah, I mean, we got to go he over this direction anyways. Let's avoid the worm if we can. Let's avoid being around those as well. But I mean, I'm going to be needing quite a lot of these. I'll definitely get up to a full stack. Oh, 
And if I take any damage, I mean, I got that on my back. But, let's eat a couple of these. <clears throat> Since you can make flower salads during the summer, I mean, if you can use an optimal uh, recipe, which would probably be something like I like three ice and a flower. You can pretty much get back to I mean you can get back to full health for no real risk of like running out of resources. All right. Shall put that I'll just put that down as soon as I start overheating. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I said put it down. Please don't think. going to mine these rocks so I can get those rock lobsters to befriend me. No sir, you come back here. Do I have any, um, oh I have rocks on me anyways. I mean, I should probably just do this and give that give that one a rock as well. Can never have too many buddies. Just waiting for this to get cold again, or to get freezing rather. any time now. <clears throat> it usually doesn't take this long. I'm thinking that my temperature is on... yeah, it's not gonna happen, okay. These kind of rocky biomes, I don't think they ever have niter type rocks in them, so not really worth my while to be staying here. Earthquakes, uh, when you're under the cave, they can actually be good sometimes because they'll give you gold and stuff. But usually, like you see, it just, they just break. It's really more inconvenient than anything. I just got gold there, but still not a big deal, really in the long scheme of things. Really what will happen is though, since you have those all the time when you're in the caves, every now and then when you're just walking, you'll find them. That's what I find anyways. <clears throat> it's not so much the active, it's more of the passive. do the same kind of exploration that we would do above ground just kind of follow the borders you know get the general idea of everything and then you can come back later and fill in the gaps if you find any biomes you want to explore <clears throat> the main biome I'm looking for is uh, probably the spider biome that always contains the ruins obviously that's one obvious choice and then Really, just f finding out the local ecology of the caves will help later for when I want to make a base down here. I want these to stay with me. I should definitely install the mod for um, the time that puts timers on all those guys. 
Because uh, as you can see, I do play with mods on, but they're not any mods to make the game easier per se. They're just the quality of life mods. Like it shows all the numbers instead of me having to hover over it. And then this shows me if it's day or night or anything like that. Summer, you know, what's stuff that you can find out anyways. But it's a lot easier to just have at your grasp at all times. <coughs> Sorry about that. I have coughed today. And yesterday, I believe. No fun. Unlike this game. A lot of people don't like these styles of games for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it is... I guess you could see it as boring. That you really aren't doing a whole lot. There's not a lot of action. But I like it. It's a mental game. You have to think a lot playing Don't Starve. Like, you have to plan. You have to prepare for stuff. Really, the challenge isn't in, for example, like dexterity, how many buttons per second you can press or anything like that. The challenge has always been so something about, like, you know, are you planned for summer? What's your plans for, you know, the bosses attacking? All that stuff. From my experience, anyways. As I've said before, one of the main causes of death in Don't Starve is not starving, but instead lack of preparation and I'll go ahead and pick that berry another thing I should probably do uh, not this episode or anything but in the future it'd definitely be good to actually start planting those the grass and uh, the grass and saplings, so that I can get all of that running. That's like a priority number one thing for winter, but we had summer first, so it wasn't a huge deal. I can just always plant, you know, pick them up. All right, it looks like this branch is over, so we're probably going to be going into a different branch entirely now. And hopefully when we do so, we can find more niter, because I am running very low, it's very con disconcerting. Accidentally gave that guy two there, unfortunately. Alright. Thoroughly cold. <clears throat> we just keep going in this direction. Hopefully soon I can find a biome to where I'll actually need them, like the bat biome or the My biggest hope is the spider biome that has all the cave spiders and then it also contains the ruins entrance we're not going into the ruins anytime soon but it's good to know for later so I can get dual site tools and such I think I'll probably go to shipwreck before I go to the ruins but either way it would be nice to go back to shipwreck so I can actually start exploring the world and get some some of that Juicy coffee. Coffee is one of my favorite things in this game. It's kind of the epitome of, like, I have already got into a comfortable position with the game, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna farm for coffee as like a, like a, what's it called, like a quality of life thing. When you're st when you're playing around with coffee and don't starve, it's because you've no longer. You're no longer at risk of starving. One thing you gotta be careful with with these rock lobsters, if you're... Like, it depends on what your opinion on using the debugged uh, window is. You gotta be careful with them because they will follow you above ground and they'll start proliferating all over your world. 
and eventually it will get to the point where it's super laggy to just be around there. That is one instance, in my opinion, where it's a legitimate reason to use the debug debug window because it's causing bugs. So you're using it to debug. That's my opinion on that. No reason not to use like console commands if it's to make your world less laggy. Now where did they go? Actually I should kill this guy because I need the nightmare fuel. Hundred and ninety eight. Come over here, I guess, so I'm not wasting fuel. <clears throat> Come on. Die already. One more attack, yep. <coughs> also, Slurtle Mounds, definitely something I'll fuck with at some point. I don't usually need to fuck with them though. Uh, while, while I'm near these guys, I forgot. Some of them are probably already trailing off. No! Where'd you go? Yeah, see I wasn't paying attention to them. They lost interest in me. They only care about you if you keep feeding them. So far we haven't really found anything interesting though. Unfortunately. It's just been kind of exploration. For the sake of it. Ooh, and here's the biome that I was talking about where I would need the... Uh, well, no, it's not okay. It looked like the, the biome where I had bat, the uh, bats in it. Or I guess battlesks. You want to use a proper terminology. Go in here. So I don't get warm. But that said, this is a different biome than, than we have encountered. So I believe. We are coming close to finding other biomes that I want. I need to find stalagmites or something. The fact that I'm burning up so much down here is really not helping the exploration process. So peaceful, just like walking and boing, 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 boing. Got all of Chester. Works day and night just to store your items. Definitely thought that was a place. And we only have one more of these, so I better find what I'm looking for. This is a mushroom biome actually so like I could be picking up these mushrooms but these are the blue kind. I don't want the blue kind per se. I'll get one actually just so I can heal up a little bit and that's good enough. Keep on keeping on. But yeah, I, I do love these kind of games because of how relaxing they are, but 
and how much like you have to think about it and all that. But I guess I just like I like resource management and I like survival games, you know. That's my that's my uh, sort of thing, I guess. Besides fighting games, fighting games are my main passion, video game wise. So much you can do with the fighting game, like the combo system, the just the neutral, like all the stuff that you do in fighting games is really interesting to me. Likewise, a lot of the things that happen in these kinds of like resource management survival games, especially like roguelike elements. I love roguelike, roguelike games and roguelites, all that stuff. There's not a whole lot of rate. Uh, there's not a whole lot of like genres that I like, don't like. Uh, any genre that I don't like, there's always an exception. I'm gonna pick these up so that I can get insane later, because they do drain a little bit of sanity. Minus fifteen. Really, the best thing for that is green caps. These are also a source of food, so it's not a bad idea to pick up as well, for that reason. Because I'm probably going to eat that whenever I get down low enough again. <clears throat> We've done a lot of exploring today, and we haven't found the ruins yet. That's kind of weird. They're going to be in like the last corridor that I explore. Hopefully we can find it by the end of this episode. That would be the goal. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that gave us a little bit of niter. Fuel reserves low. Eat that. Okay. So th these are the bats. They're not hard to beat on their own. That's not the danger of them. The danger of them is when they start swarming you. No, no, no. Where'd it go? Go ahead and mine these up. Get the niter. And gold, they have gold in them a lot of times, so. I'm actually not looking for gold though. For once. I should have made a I should have made a bold axe before I came down here I think. But it's whatever. Suboptimal but not a huge deal. And I'm not finding any niter. That's unfortunate. Also, I think my Rock Lobster friends trailed off. To be fair, they're really slow and they get lost. I'm not about to wait for them. They teleport to you if you get too far away. Okay. Just fight these guys off. 
because this is the kind of rock that you find near the spider dens, which I'm probably approaching. Probably won't be too much longer for this episode, but might be able to find them before then. Kill two birds with one stone. Well, looks like that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and if you are, please consider dropping a like or dropping a comment. And uh, if you like it, then subscribe. I will be releasing these videos every day. Hope you enjoy. Bye!